This Friday, live on Channel 5, EBU European Glory is on the line. Sam Eggington takes on Abbas Baru. It's a 50-50 fight, or at least it's being billed as one. We can't wait to see it. And Sam Eggington joins us now. It's fight week, Sam. We're here. How are you feeling? I feel exactly like that, mate. It's fight week. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's fight week, pal. You know, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm, I'm ready. You know, well, I'm also tired and, and, and ready to, to weigh in and, and suit back up so so yeah it's five weeks so it is what it is it's camp 43 I think so it's nothing new we came to the gym a few weeks ago uh, and if you don't mind me saying the energy is different now because it's closer it's more locked in um, do you feel different in, in physically mentally do you feel different now we're here um, I do I mean I, I, feel, I feel I feel different but like I said to you before pal, like I said to you at, at the gym I don't put anything on the pedestal. This is my job. I, I do this day in, day out. Um, I enjoy it more than anything. Um, so it feels like I'm going to have a fight the weekend, of course. So, so I'm nervous. Um, like I said, I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm ready to go. But I don't um, put anything on the pedestal. You know, it's my job. I want to go in there and do it to the best of my ability. With such a huge amateur pedigree in a Bas Baru, do you do you see a, a different kind of threat than maybe just a come forward scrap? As we've seen in some of your fights before, they're very entertaining. They, it's it's full throttle, it's full blooded. It's with a Bas, it might be that, or given such the school uh, of amateur pedigree, maybe it's a little different. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I've said this before. You know, on the run up to this, I, I don't feel like it can be anything else. So, I fought the good amateurs. I fought the quality of Frankie Gavin. Glenn Foot, Ted Cheeseman, um, you know, and and there's more, but that I could, I could real life, but I just can't think at the moment. I've fought these people, you know, that have been quality amateurs that have turned into good pros, um, and they haven't fared too bad, you know what I mean? It is what it is, but I don't feel, I, I, unless it might sound a bit big headed, but I don't feel like, I feel like it's hard to find someone who fights like me with the, with the pace I bring and the the um, the frosty that I, that I bring from round one to round twelve. I think I feel like that's harder to find than it is a decent amateur turning to a decent pro. Like I said, we've fought three that I've just told you about. So, yeah, it, it could be a box, a box, a boxing match, or it could be, you know, toe to toe. Either way, you know, I'm not worried. Like I said before, I've got plan A. My job is to make plan A work. Um, if he's got plan A, B, and C to work around that, then fair dues to him, but I'm worried to do my job. Plan A's got to work and you're on the road 15 minutes later. I remember yeah. it well. Talk to me a little bit about the prestige of having the European title on the line. Yeah, obviously it's massive. It's huge. The first time I won it was um, was unbelievable. Not too far from here. You know, and I won it in an unbelievable fashion. Um, and I want to try and mimic that the weekend. Um, I've, I'm trying to work. I, I'm not like a massive boxing historian, so I don't know. But I don't know any British guys that have won it in two weights. So, you know, it could be something special. Um, but again, like I say, I ain't checked all that stuff out yet. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a massive bout to win. You know, it ranks you highly with all the governing bodies. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. World titles, how far down the line are they for you? Should you get the win on Friday? How far ahead are you looking before world? Titles? Do you want to be in there straight away, or is it? It's hard to say. I mean. Um, I'm pretty sure that the WBC rank you in the top ten, if not top five, once you would have won the WB the EBU. So WBU, yeah. The WBA is um I think he's ranked quite highly. I'm ranked quite highly, so the winner will get pushed up quite dramatically in them rankings as well. Um and just winning the I EBU will put you up highly with the IBF and the WBO. So it's hard to say. I mean it, with all the bouts scattering about at the moment with Charlo not fighting for a for a while. You never know who's mandatory here and who's mandatory there and you know, there's a lot of um, politics in, in in it, but um, I think, you know, a defence of the w, the EBU would definitely push me in the right direction. You know, after this one, one defence of it, I think you've got to be calling for a world title after that. Names like Charlo, they seem, in many ways, they seem detached from where we are now. You know, they're not domestic names, they're global superstars, yeah. they're well known in, in every continent, you know. Do they seem out of reach at the moment, or is that realistically? I, and I know that it's easy to sort of look down on the potential of a of a young British fighter or a prime British fighter going fighting in America. But realistically, are you looking and 
as, as you say, after after winning this and after a defence, someone like Charlo is who I want. I think you've got to just look for the belt, mate. Um, I mean, obviously, Charlo's a massive fight either way. Brings huge money, whether the belt's online or not. So, you know, if that's offered to you, you're always going to give that one a wobble, do you know what I mean? But um, I think you've got to look for the belts. Um, like I say, with the rankings you'll get with this belt, being high with the WBA, I think you'd have to push for that. Um, and I don't know if there's a manage for that, if I'm honest, from what I've yeah. heard there is, but I think you just have to look for the bouts. Again, if you get um, a number of unbelievable name like Charlo or, you know, there's people Tim like Zoo. Tim yeah. Zoo, um, you know, the people like that, you've got to, you've got to, you know, think up, think that over and, and really contemplate it, whether there's a bout on the line or not. Will, will you have an eye on the Tim Zoo Keith Sermon fight? Um, not really. I mean, it's not my sort of thing to be to be watching fighters beforehand. If I'm on his blue hands, <laughs> I'm not a huge, massive boxing person in general. I don't watch him. I don't stay up for him or anything like that. Um, and again, if if if, if, if I'm called to fight either of them, I won't watch him again anyway. So, <laughs> um, so no, nah, not not really, mate. Um, I've never really planned forward. My whole career has been made on opportunities exactly like this one. Do you know what I mean? We didn't know this was going to come until, you know, after Christmas and we, we've took it with both hands. So my whole career has been made on opportunities. I'll get this one out of the way and no doubt the phone will ring again. Finally, let's let's end with the here and now. This Friday, it's it's almost a hometown fight for you. The, the home fans are going to be here. We know that they're here in number. You're going to be the one getting the loud reception in the ring walk. What kind of environment can we expect on Friday? It's going to be a good environment, mate. Like I say, we've got some some lads local to us um, that are all on. We all know each other, so the whole crowd, my crowd, their crowd, they'll all be cheering for me, them. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to be encouraging the booze for a bass when he walks out? Not really, I, mate. This game's too hard to be encouraging booze for someone who's <laughs> yeah. out to do his job. I've never been that sort of person. You know, I'm not here to to bad mouth him, try and push him about it, or make him look stupid. Apart from when we're in the ring. Um, before the ring and after, you know, it is what it is. Back to back to normal life, you know what I mean? I've got nappies to change and school runs to do. Do you know what I'm saying? So I know the game. I'm familiar I mean, with you taking I the bins out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't need to be causing arguments or, or or making anyone feel small or stupid, how he ever however he feels when 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 the crowd are booing, you know, he's on him. Um and the crowd will boo. Do you know what I mean? So see how it see how it see how he um he fares up. Crowds will boo. Crowds will cheer on Friday night as a new EBU European champion will be crowned here in Telford, live on Channel 5. Sam Eggington and Abbas Baral throw down. Sam, good luck for Friday. We'll see you there. Appreciate it, mate. Cheers.